Hi, this is Ryan with Website Islands, and in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to configure your free uh, Website Islands based webmail with uh, the free Gmail. Um, now, webmail's uh, okay, uh, it's, it's free. Um, when you host with Website Islands for $4.95 a month, you get uh, your website hosted and you get, you get access to, uh, to cPanel, and you can uh, create your email accounts and set up a password and um, set up a mail client with it and access it with your phone or your Microsoft Outlook um, or, or um, and what a lot of people don't know is you can even set it up with your free Gmail account. Um, the, the webmail offers a few uh, free uh, email clients. One of them is called Horde. If it's your first time logging into web webmail, it asks you to select the default. So you'll have Horde, Roundcube, or Squirrel Mail. Out of the three, Horde is generally the best looking one and the most robust one. Um, I don't really recommend the other two. I don't like all, all three of them. I, I personally don't even like Gmail. I like Outlook and I have it. Uh, I, I just pay for that uh, monthly service uh, and, and have uh, Outlook on my computer. But a lot of people travel and they need a, a web based email. So out of all the web based email, Gmail might very well be the best one. Um, I'm not an expert on that, but I know it's. It's free and it's definitely one of the most popular and people are already familiar with it. So uh, a lot of people think that if they want um, business email through Gmail for their domain name that they have to sign up for the G Suite, uh, which is $5 per user per month or $10 per user per month. And G Suite isn't just business email through Gmail. It's video conferencing, smart share calendars, documents, 30 gigabytes of cloud service. And a lot of people don't need all that. All they need is the business email through Gmail. Um, and, but, uh, and I'm not trying to sell G Suite, but I will say a few positive things about it. If you're an employer and you have 10 employees and you want to completely control that email account and all the past emails that were sent and be able to completely restrict a, 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 an ex-employee from accessing that, you can just change their password or um, even delete that account because you, you created the account and gave it access to them. Um, you, you can completely remove access. Uh, for them. Whereas if if uh, you're going to do it, the way I'm, I'm going to show you how to do it is um, without the G Suite, because you don't need all of the G Suite, you just need the free Gmail. Uh, I'm going to show you how to set up on a personal Gmail account, which you, it may be your business uh, Gmail account, because um, you, you're using your business name, um, you know, as the prefix, uh, or it could be a personal Gmail account that looks even less professional. But um, I'm going to show you how to do it through your Gmail. Um, one of the reasons I'm showing this to my clients is because a lot of my clients are already using Gmail. Um, so when I create a website for them, they want to they want to use their Gmail uh, to send out uh, the contact form that goes uh, that, that's on their site or you know the shopping cart receipts, and they just want to keep using Gmail. The thing about that is when you have a domain name like uh, DoItYourselfGraphicApps.com, and um, you're sending out a receipt from Do It Yourself Graphic Apps, and, and Gmail is actually the one that's sending it. Um, uh, I mean, we, and, and the, the PHP uh, from, from the website is actually sending it, but it's not from Do It Yourself Graphic Apps, it's from Gmail. It, it might look spammy, like we're, we're trying to spoof something to, to other servers. So they, um, they might reject that email. It might automatically go into someone's spam folder. So um, it's better to set up, uh, even if you're using Gmail, it's better to set up a domain-based email, and, and it looks more professional too. It, info at doityourselfgraphicapps.com looks a lot more professional than doityourselfgraphicapps at gmail.com. So, um, but not only that, it's going to keep you out of the spam box more often than not, um, because your 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 website is going to be sending email through its own domain and and not uh, from Gmail. Um, so, uh, what we're going to do is uh, to set this up, uh, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to create that email in, in the cPanel first. So um, I'm already in I'm already in the email account section, but when you get into your cPanel dashboard, you're going to see all these little buttons to click. Um, go down to the email section, click on email account, um, enter in your use your your prefix here. I like info or sales or something like that. Give it a password. Tick the unlimited box. You don't need to limit. Um, the size of your, your, your inbox, and you'll probably never exceed that anyway. And then go to um, uh, create the account. Now, once it's created, 
you'll see you can set up your mail client. You can configure it with, um, it'll give you the settings for your, you know, iPad or uh, Outlook or whatever. Um, and if you click more, you can access webmail directly from here. You can also access uh, webmail, for example, at puresshosting.com forward slash webmail. It'll take you to the, um, the, the main uh, webmail login screen. Um, and, and then you'll bypass the entire cPanel. Now, if you have a lot of emails, you can access all of them directly from uh, the cPanel directly as well. Um, but if you have employees, you might give them a link and they can just enter their email and enter their password for their specific webmail account, and that'll take them directly to that account. And you don't need to give your employees, you definitely don't want to give your employees uh, cPanel access. All right. Once that's created, we're going to click on the... Uh, the uh, setup mail client and we'll see all the settings um, that we need here so let's click on setup mail client we're going to need the, this information so normally I recommend using this uh, secure one these settings if that doesn't work for whatever reason then secondly you can go ahead and try the non SSL settings alright so once you're in Gmail okay you'll click on um, I think I already did this You'll click on this little tab here, and it'll say uh, settings, and you'll click on the third, the fourth tab over here, accounts and import, and you'll click on, um, don't get confused, there's send mail as, and there's check mail from other accounts. You want to click the send mail as, add another email address. So you see I'm using customer service flow at Gmail, that's my personal email account, but I want to add another address, and um, I should get a little pop-up here, okay. And um, so, you know, this is your, your display name that your clients are going to see. So you can enter your company name if you want, or you can enter your personal name if you want. And then you want to enter in your email address. I just don't want to make any mistakes, so I'm going to copy and paste this in there. And then it's, uh, if it's already checked, if this box is already ticked, leave it ticked. Uh, make sure it's ticked. Treat as an alias. That's what we want to do. Um, send mail through your SMTP server. So um, you want to get that setting from your your webmail uh, settings. So you can see my outgoing or my SMTP server is port 465 and it's mail at doityourselfgraphicapps.com. Right? And we're going to go back to the pop-up. Um, so you really just need to enter in mail here. Mail that okay, and then the username is not uh, the prefix. It's the whole thing. So we're gonna put it um, DIY com, and the port is uh, in my case is not the TLS one that I want to use. I want to use the, the SSL, and it's gonna be um, port 465. Okay, and then the password. I'm just gonna copy and paste this. Don't bother uh, trying to hack into this email account. I'm going to delete it as soon as this tutorial is over with. But I've given it a secure password. I just used the uh, generator to do that. And um, the uh, password, enter that in here. Okay, so make sure I have everything right. 465, info, mail, at do the graphic acts, SSL. Looks good. Add the account. It's checking credentials, and now it's emailed uh, info at do-it-yourself-graphic-apps.com, um, the verification code. So I can just click on the link or enter the confirmation code here. So I'm going to go, it, that's why it's important that you've already uh, created the email account before you try to set this up. Um, uh, so I have uh, I did this once before as a dry run before I created this tutorial. I need to get a new, I'm, I'm waiting for that new email. Pauses. Okay, so that just came in. It might take uh, 60 seconds or so. Um, copy that code or click the link. In this case, I'm just going to copy the code. And um, since I'm still logged in here, 
and I'll uh, click verify. And um, that's done. And that window automatically closes. Uh, if I go back to the settings, uh, it says reply from the same address the message is sent to or always reply from the default, which is customer service call. You do not want to reply from, you know, the whole point of doing this is that we can be professional. So we want to reply from the same address that the message was sent to. Make sure that that's ticked. And um, those settings are already saved. So we can go to Compose now. And not only can you receive emails and reply to emails, but you can create new messages. But by default, um, you can make that the default if you want, I think. So uh, by default, it's still showing a customer service flow. Um, if you're not going to be using that anymore or less frequently, you might want to change um, to make this one the default. Click Make Default. Um, but you can also uh, just toggle each time. Uh, where did that pop up go? Compose. All right. So you can toggle it. Just click this little arrow here and pick the one that you want to send it from. And it's so then uh, I'll, I'll send it to myself at sales at websiteisland.com and I'll give the subject which is uh, test two um, and then I'll give it a, a message which is uh, sending from free gmail account um, from my domain name email alright so I'm going to send that Okay, and then um, let me just uh, also that might be one. All right, uh, that's pretty much it. it. Should be working. You can you can uh, send and receive and reply um, directly as your domain name, and um, and 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 uh, continue. You you can do this for as many uh, different emails if you have multiple like service, info, sales. You can just keep setting those up here as many as you want. It doesn't cost any money. Um, you can uh, walk your customer, I mean your employees through this and, and have them set up, you know, like uh, Sally, Sam, and Joe uh, and, and uh, have all their uh, domain-based email through their personal Gmails as well. Uh, and then just, you know, change the password or delete it if, you, if, you, if they ever leave the company. Um, and that's it. Uh, thanks for watching.